we've seen so many cool moments today but let's have a look at what uh, some of our fans have to say and tell us what uh, their coolest moment of the match powered by Volta's AC and Volta's Beko refrigerator is so let's have a, a look at few of the tweets uh, so Akash says that uh, the on drive from Virat Kohli just perfect isn't it coolest moment uh, Joy that I mean the, that on drive was st- every time he hits a cover drive on drive but maybe one more here <coughs> Chandra Banu Solanki says Siraj's first over literally wow. It's almost a, <laughs> yeah, like, it nicely is, done. Uh, wicked yeah, well dot, done. dot dot wicked dot. Yeah, woo, I saw. wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's very yes, good. Yes, smartly used. Yeah. If uh, there is any other that we can look at because they're very innovative ones coming up today. Arjun Mehta says boom boom boomra. First ball wicket. What a start for India. Coolest moment. Well, Arjun, I have to tell you that. Um, Simon Joyda and everyone here at Cricket Buzz Live agrees with you you're completely spellbound by Bumrah which is why uh, he is our uh, he is the coolest moment of the match powered by Volta's AC and Volta's Beko refrigerator Simon almost jumped out of his chair when he saw that uh, delivery to uh, the first uh, ball that uh, Bumrah got Nisanka out you know you were you were like this you were like this Simon it was just you know we talk about it time and time and if you're in a changing room You've gone back in after scoring 357. What do we need to do? Okay guys, we need to set the tone early here. There there's the first 8 9 overs, I set it in the mid show. They're going to be crucial. We have to get through these 8 9 overs. From an Indian point of view, who's going to set the tone for us? Hmm. Jaspreet, you're the man. Just perfect seam. I mean, he he drew him into the shot that he was looking to play mid on at least squared him up all ends up. wrapped into that back pad it was a stunning way to start and i mean you could just hear that mumbai crowd I mean, we could hear it from here <laughs> from our studio we're about what uh, 10 kilometers away from it i suppose but it was phenomenal and, and just the way he angled the ball in it swung kept on going oh, i just yeah it was a proper proper delivery is this the best version of bumrah that we are seeing i think we are seeing a great this is bumrah at his best he has been at his best before as well but now he's at his best as leading a pack an attack which is together a lethal attack and that just is it's a force multiplier all three of them are feeding off each other bowling off each other and i was almost i mean in that over two international batsmen you're not talking about local batsmen three times the batsman is turned round mm. you know where it just looks so awkward the batsman looks so silly and these are international cricketers they're not bad batsmen they're top order batsmen for sri lanka you know to do that to batsmen on a consistent basis tells you a exactly he's bowling close enough for them to have to try and play the ball and he's getting them into the shot and then just moving it far away from them for not for them not to be able to connect or get a leading edge where one of them just popped in mm-hmm. over his head and i think that's what you <coughs> what you're seeing you're seeing really very high class bowling and you know i i was i was feeling bad for shami <laughs> because shami's mother today you know he'd be saying mom you know i got five wickets and shami's mother would be saying but you know what bumrah and chiraz got a wicket with their first ball you took four <laughs> balls to get a wicket <laughs> you know so yeah. if you want to nit pick it's always there but you know that's the quality of attack you're seeing Mm-hmm. But you know, if Simon, I asked you about this affair, but you have to share this with our viewers as well. You, it's impossible to pick him, right? Because he's got that ball now, which goes outside as well. So I was asking you, how does a batter pick him? It's it's very difficult. I mean, it's very subtle changes for for Jaspreet when he lets the the outswinger go. All you'll see from the top of his wrist position is a little bit of this sort of movement, and that's the one that leaves the right hander. and when he gets the one going back into the right hander you'll just see a little bit of that movement mm. so you'll basically see the wrist stay as straight or just go a little bit to the left for the one that comes into the right hander or you'll see the wrist just go a little bit that way seam position is slightly different it'll be facing towards um fine leg for the right hander for the one that goes away it'll be facing towards first slip mm. almost for the one that comes back in but the thing about Jaspreet Bumrah is the the speed radar might say 139 140 We did a great piece on the TV the other night. He lets the ball go on average about 2 feet, let's say half a yard in front of everybody else. So his arm because he's got that um hyperextension, his arm and his release is around about that far in front of a Stark, a Bolt, a Rabada, any of those other bowlers. So it actually hits you harder than you think, although the speed gun might say similar around that 139 140. it probably feels more like it's 145 mm. 146 because he's gaining a half a yard 
<laughs> towards the batsman. So it, it makes him so difficult to play. And, you know, I, I guess what he has had to do is had to prop up an attack. Before he's had to lead an attack without a lot of yes. soldiers behind him. He's now got not only lieutenants, but he's got, you know, he's got a couple of commanders in behind him now. He's not just leading. He's actually got a real pack with him now. And it, it's, yeah, it's good to watch. It's, it's nice for him, I'm sure, that he is not having to do everything. Yes. Well, that uh, Nisanka delivery, you actually feel bad for Nisanka, but uh, which is why that was the coolest moment of the match, powered by Volta's AC and Volta's Beko refrigerator.